Hey guys, Nick here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles in Mansfield, Texas. Got a pretty wild three-wheeler with me here today. It's a 2013 Thoroughbred Stallion. This thing is crazy. It's got a candy apple red paint job. A lot of cool stuff. <clears throat> so this one has a, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood. And we'll start out there. Let's see here. I'm gonna set the camera down here in just a second. It's kind of a two-handed job. All right. So, in the Thoroughbred Stallion, the power plant is a 2.3 liter four-cylinder motor. And that is a motor made by Ford. I believe this is a motor they use for the the Ford Rangers, stuff like that. Makes about 143 horsepower, which is really good in this bike. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, so it's got good power to weight ratio. It's kind of got, the front steering is kind of set up like a motorcycle. It does have forks. You can see the suspension down there, the cool over shocks. But yeah, man, it's a full on car motor. You got the alternator, all the same stuff, power steering. It's got a five-speed automatic, reverse, neutral drive, all that stuff, low gears. This one's a little, a little different than a car though. So the gas is on the right side, like normal, but then the brake is gonna be on the left side. So it's a little tricky getting used to it, knowing how much pressure to put on that brake with your left foot, because your left foot's not really used to hitting the brake. Usually you use your right foot both, for both of that. <clears throat> so it's a little tricky getting used to it. It's got electronic cruise control. This one's got air conditioning and heating. You see the controls over here. You also got your headlight controls. And then there's your Sony Marine stereo setup. Fully waterproof. This thing doesn't have a top, so it's nice to have. You got your speakers here in the rear. And here's gonna be the vents for the passenger. One on each side. It's got an adjustable driver's backrest. Big two-up seat. I think your passenger will really like this. Armrest built in. It's even got a little roll bar here. Some protection. God help you if you ever did roll it over. That might help you a little bit from getting your head crushed. Still probably, I'd probably still want to wear a helmet in this rig. Just for safety reasons. This one's got a candy apple paint job. Beautiful five-spoke mag wheels. Big fat tires on the rear. Good traction. This thing uses car tires front and rear. So a lot cheaper than a motorcycle tire and you get a lot more longevity out of them. <clears throat> this one's got cherry bomb mufflers. And you also got a little hitch back here, which is pretty cool. You can pull a little trailer with this setup. For storage, you got a trunk in the rear. It's not all that big, but it is something. You can fit a little bit back there. It's got good link to it. There's the CD player, if you wanna play CDs and stuff like that. So you can fit a little stuff back here, not a whole lot. You're not gonna do probably any kind of long distance touring on this bike. Probably some day trips, stuff like that. I guess you could, you kinda of have to be creative with how you pack your luggage. It's got a few little areas on the body here. As you can see, there's a lot of body hanging out in the wind right here. So you're gonna pick up stuff. It's got a few pretty sizable scratches right here on the front end. I think it had a chip back here where the trunk closes. Yeah, you got a couple of chips back there. There's your gas cap. That's where you're gonna fill your gas up at. Other than that, I think I had a little scratch right there. Other than that, it's pretty, pretty clean. Maybe a little rock chip right there. Normal wear and tear stuff. This one's got pretty low miles on it, around 2,500. I'm gonna get this hood closed right here. It does have the front turn signals integrated into the mirrors. 
big tall windshield good wind protection no problems there Let me jump up in this bad boy it's got good seating room too I'm a pretty big guy 6'1 240 and I have no problem sitting down in here you're gonna have your parking brake or your emergency brake right down there next to my foot thousand five hundred seventy miles pretty typical gauge setup that you'd find in any kind of car got your speedometer over here tachometer coolant temperature gas gauge all your indicator lights windshield wipers except for like I said they're using the controls from the Ford Ranger this one doesn't have windshield wipers but they're just gonna use the same controls looks like you got a bad battery voltage right there and this one even has air ride suspension. So right now, sitting at 21 pounds, you can air it up or you can lay it out. That's pretty cool. Actually didn't know that until I just saw that. Let's take this thing for a little cruise. Thing's a lot of fun to drive. It's pretty unique. You get a lot of stairs, people looking at you, wondering what, what you're driving here. <clears throat> This thing is a lot of fun, guys. It doesn't weigh a whole lot with that little four cylinder. This thing will get up and go pretty good. Sounds good with those cherry bomb mufflers. day like this man just he get the heater going got some vents right there it'll be all right if you'd like to know more about this stallion you can contact our sales team toll free at 817-985-8888 or you can check out our website at texasbestusedmotorcycles.com and see our full inventory we offer excellent finance and extended warranty options. Take almost anything in on trade and we sell and ship bikes all around the world. So it'd be real easy to get this one to you. This is Nick with Texas Best Used Motorcycles in Mansfield, Texas. Thanks for watching.